In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what the best export settings for Instagram videos and stories are for Final Cut Pro users. Not only that, I'm also going to show you how to create an export preset so that you don't have to remember these settings every time and stick around for a really awesome giveaway later in the video. It's important to mention that Instagram is going to compress your videos no matter what you do. Instagram currently hosts the content for roughly 1 billion users, so they're not going to store your videos in 4K ProRes, unfortunately. But if you export your videos for Instagram using this method, you'll have the best chance at having good quality Instagram stories and posts without too much compression. In order to export your videos and stories for Instagram with the best quality, you need to set up your project correctly to begin with. We have a fresh library here, and I'm going to hit Command N to create a new project. If you're going to be posting a video on your Instagram feed, then you'll want to use a resolution that maximizes the screen space on mobile devices. To do that, change the video format to custom and set the resolution to 864 by 1080. That's how you'll fill the screen as much as possible for video posts on Instagram. If you're going to be posting an Instagram story, then change the format to vertical and set the resolution to 1080 by 1920. If you have an older version of Final Cut Pro and you don't see this vertical option, then just select custom and enter 1080 by 1920. I'll set the frame rate to 23.98 frames per second because that's the frame rate I shot in and you can set it to whatever you shot in, but you won't want to go over 30 frames per second. Hit okay and you're ready to create your video or story. Let's say I have this simple clip here of me talking that I want to use for my story. Do you want to learn what the best export settings are for Instagram videos and stories in Final Cut Pro? And do you want to win a cool Instagram story bundle? Hit the link in the bio to learn more. Notice how this clip doesn't completely fill the frame. I can fix that by either scaling it up until it fits, or let me reset this. The easiest way is to head over to the spatial conform section in the inspector window and change the type from fit to full, and my clip will instantly fill the screen. I can adjust the position if necessary, and my video is ready. Or is it? The sponsor for today's video is VFX Nut, and I'm going to use one of the Instagram story templates from their editor's mega bundle to create a much more dynamic Instagram story to post. The editor's mega bundle includes a ton of templates, effects, titles, and transitions that you can use on your projects. The bundle includes a photo display pack, social media overlays, a few different title packs, overlay effects, Instagram story templates, and transitions. Hit the link in the description below to enter this incredible giveaway. So let's go ahead and make the story a little bit more exciting using one of these presets. I'll just grab the Insta Stories 3 preset, which is a generator, and I'll drag that on top of my clip and I'll extend it to the duration of my clip. Next, I want to add the clip into this clip well. So what I'm going to do is first create a compound clip using the shortcut Alt-G, and I'll just call this story. It's important to make it a compound clip so that it plays back correctly in the generator. I'll select the generator, and then I'll go ahead and click on this clip well, and I'll select this story compound clip that I've created, and I'll hit apply clip. Now, if we scrub forward, you can see how it animates in, and that's the story. I can go ahead and customize it, over here, I'll say best export settings for Instagram. And I want to change the font here. I'll select intro. And I'm just going to scale this text down to fit. Let's say about 60% will do. And then I'm going to just reposition this text over to the left. I'll go ahead and change the swipe up text to link in bio. I'll also reposition that. And then I can go ahead and I can customize these colors. So for the background color, I can use the color picker. Let's say I want it to be similar to this gray, but a little darker. I can just adjust it here. Then for the box color, I'll go and select a nice dark blue. And for the second text box color, I will make it, let's go with a orangey yellow color. And I'll change the text to color here to black. And this is what the final story looks like. 
Do you want to learn what the best export settings are for Instagram videos and stories in Final Cut Pro? And do you want to win a cool Instagram story bundle? Hit the link in the bio to learn more. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. It will be open for two weeks and then I'll announce the winners. Also, if you want to go ahead and purchase the Editor's Mega Bundle, the first 20 people to make a purchase will get 80% off. I'll include the details down below, so go ahead and check that out. Now that we have a much better looking story to post to Instagram, let's talk about the export settings. I'll head over to File, Share and select Add Destination because I want to create the preset for these export settings at the same time. I'll drag the Export File option over to the left hand sidebar and I'll make sure that the format is set to Computer. Then I'll set the video codec to H.264 better quality. I'll keep the resolution set to 1920 by 1080 since my story is at 1080 by 1920 and I'll never use a larger resolution for Instagram. If your timeline is set correctly to 1080 by 1920 or even 864 by 1080 for a video post, then Final Cut Pro will still export at those resolutions as long as you have 1920 by 1080 selected here. I'll uncheck the chapter markers box and I don't want to open it with QuickTime every time I export something, so I'll set the action to save only. I'll double click the preset name here and change it to Instagram. Now I can export my edit in the menu by going to File, Share, Instagram, or by clicking on the Share icon over here and selecting Instagram from the drop down menu. If you have an iPhone, I would recommend using AirDrop to send the video file to your phone to post it from there. If you have a different phone, like an Android phone or something, then I'd recommend using Dropbox or Google Drive to transfer the file. Basically, you want to use anything that's not going to compress the file in the process. So WhatsApp is not a good idea. Then all you need to do is post it to Instagram and enjoy how great your videos and stories look. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll catch you in the next one.